Hey, what's going on? Joey from the Hitting Performance Lab. What's up, Mr. Anthony? Hey, I know you sent me, you got gave me the front view of the deadlift. I just took a look at that real quick. I just wanted to make room for your swing here. I know we've been working on that this this month quite a bit. So I know you mentioned that you had a little lower back stuff going on, so we're going a little lighter. I can see here in the video that we're at looks like at 315, I think. Where normally you're at 345. That's fine. We're getting a little close to the fall fall practice, so I don't want to blow a gasket or anything. So you want to make sure that you're nice and healthy when you do when you go heavy. <clears throat> so here's what I'm seeing. Now this is a lighter weight, obviously, than the last time, and and that shows why about frame right here you see we're nice and flat with the spine and then about right here that head starts to rock back again right there and then our spine lines back up with the head so it's just that little bit there but when we go down we're fine oh we kinda tip a little bit there huh we're backing up so this is that's where we tip but then as we go down so if we keep going forward as we go down that's a good nice braced position at the top Then as we go down you keep your head perfect see that it's just when and you can see it in, in fast motion you can see right at the end there and then the head returns nice and easy so slow you can see the head rock back okay so that's the one thing that we want to make sure that we're not doing and like I said it's the swing is the key to that is getting your glutes more explosive on the back side if we go over to the swing now and let's look at it in fat regular motion and I want you to just look at your spine and your head and see if you see anything different. If you see something that's not lining up. Okay, now let's look at it in slow motion. Okay, watch your head. Okay, at the top, you're going to do what most people do and they're going to bring chin to chest. You see that? Especially on that one. Then at the bottom, you kind of torque your head. We're going to slow down even more, go frame by frame. But you kind of look up a little bit at the bottom, look down at the top, look up at the bottom, look down at the top. See, see what I'm saying? So let me, let's look at one of these. So the down part's not too bad, but as you can see, we're looking just a little up here. We could just let that head, we want to see just nice and flat here nice and flat more like this nice and flat the back's kind of round a little bit the spine head a little bit more flat with the head at the bottom try not to pick up your eyes you just you're just hinging at the hip and then at the top as you you can even see your head your chin going down already right there see that so we got to keep that head boom that was a big one and then what you're doing to counter balance to get this thing going up is see how you're pushing forward you're leaving your back behind which is causing your head your chin to go to your chest instead of standing tall having a tall crown of your head so the crown being right here being having that nice and tall pushing that through the ceiling but you should be standing nice and straight up so at the at the top of this move you should be about like this maybe not quite so forward but more more this way. You should be nice nice and up and down. As you can see. See that that looks good and then our head starts to go down towards the chin. You can see we really arch that back there. You see that? So we're arching the back. We're getting the nasty stripper pose going on. So back here and then the head we get the big old curve here. So this is we're, we'll lose a lot of force up here in that neck because it's like that and you can see you're really leading with the front side with the front of the pelvis so what I suggest let me erase this is maybe going lighter and I don't know if the beer back was bothering you during this but maybe go a little lighter no you should probably stick with that weight and it looks like you're maybe 45 pounds 40 pounds but we need to really focus on keeping that head in line. I mean, you do you do pretty good with the deadlift, 
except with an exception at the end. You're almost doing the opposite though. Then say like on your deadlift side, when you're coming right here. So like the motion that you do with your deadlift where you lead you push your head back right there is the opposite of what you're doing here. You see that? See now you're pushing your head back, whereas this one you're pushing your head forward. So I want these two to be in sync. I want them both to look the same. So when you hinge at your hip, I want to see that head stay nice and in line. So almost feel like you're getting taller. Get as tall as you can. Push the crown of your head through the ceiling when you when you when you hit those those hips when you contract the the glutes to get the weight coming forward to swing forward remember this is more of a throw the throw the the weight out away from you not high you're still kind of throwing it up I want you to throw it out and stand tall does that make sense and once we can get that to transfer once we get you doing this efficiently then you'll start to see a transfer over here and with lighter weight we were still leading with that head you gotta really focus on keeping the head right in that frame keep the head there but then use your glutes to really try to push yourself to a to an erect position fully fully nice and tall alright so we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow but keep working hard brother you're, you're getting there